most of us reef keeping hobbyists balk at the idea of a 500 pound coral. And I have personally stocked my entire 400 litre reef tank without spending more than 220 pounds on a single coral. This dragon soul torch being the priciest in my tank. But in this video we're going to cast aside reality and allow ourselves to fantasize about life without a budget. And I'll show you the five most expensive corals in the world. And if you're new here and want a new reefing video every week, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. Coming in at number five is an Indophilia coral currently for sale with Vivid Aquariums at a buttock clenching $2,300. The website lists this long polyp stony coral as being three to five inches across, so it's not much bigger than a baseball. But there are a number of reasons it's so pricey. These uncommon corals are rarely imported into the hobby and they're almost always found in single specimens in the wild, not the vast quantities of colonies like many other corals. But it's not just the rarity that gives this particular coral its price tag. Coral taxonomy website Corals of the World lists the colour of Indophilia as usually pale brown and cream. Rather boring I think we could agree. So finding a specimen with the mesmerising patterns, contours and colours this has makes it an even rarer treat, and rare treats cost money. Next up is the only other coral on this list that is currently available for sale, a $3,000 cornbread holy grail torch. And with green and gold stalks leading to sky blue tips, it's not hard to see why this coral is so expensive. It is quite simply absolutely beautiful, and I'd buy it in a heartbeat if I had the money. However, I wouldn't mind betting that a significant part of the price comes purely from the name. Cornbread Corals describes itself as one of the premier suppliers of high-end corals for collectors, and while this holy grail torch is, if the photo's to be believed, undoubtedly stunning, it is only marginally different to other similar torch corals you can buy for a fraction of the price. So this is very much a case of a coral where you get to say you own a cornbread holy grail. Content is king, marketing is queen. As we move on to the podium, we take a significant price jump to the $6,000 Worldwide Corals Bounce Mushroom. In 2016, this was the most expensive coral in the world. In essence, it's just a common Rhodactis mushroom, but unlike normal Rhodactis shrooms, this has inflated fluorescent vesicles, or skin sacs, which give it its rather unique appearance. But while it is undoubtedly an extraordinary coral, there is more to the price than mere beauty and rarity. In the world of coral collecting, people are always looking for the next big thing, and certain corals come into fashion and become trendy, thus artificially inflating their price tag. In 2016, bounce mushrooms were more or less unheard of, so when the mother of all bounce mushrooms became available, the seller will have known it could pretty much name its price. Fast forward five years and bounce mushrooms are no less stunning, but are more readily available and affordable, and they are a particular favourite of my fellow YouTuber Prestige Reef, who will let you have this particular beauty for a mere £800. Just 12 months after the WWC Bounce Shroom set the bar for indulgent corals, another mushroom coral smashed the world record for the most expensive coral in the world. This time it was a Discosoma mushroom labelled the Purple Monster Jawbreaker. Now, jawbreaker mushrooms had already started appearing in the hobby in various psychedelic colours and often fetching four figure sums. But this coral sold for $10,000 and probably weighs around 15 grams, which makes it 12 times the price of gold. Now, there's no denying that 10 grand is a fair old chunk of change for a coral, and while rarity and fashion played their part in the price of this particular mushroom, to my eye, it is the most spectacular coral on this list. I couldn't find any reports of this coral since its sale, but maybe one day the owner will frag it and begin the slow process of making something like this commonly available to us mere mortals. Now before we get to number one, there are a couple of honourable mentions, and no expensive coralist would be complete without a zoanthid. These tiny polyps are smaller than a fingernail and yet cost a scarcely believable $2,000 for a single polyp. And as if that's not enough, Grandmaster Krakatoas are also extremely difficult to keep, so there's every chance it'll die within weeks of purchase. Maybe they should call it the Russian Roulette Zoa. And this Scolemia australis coral, dubbed the best scolly on the planet, appeared on the internet in 2014 without details of the price. 
The most expensive Scully I could find was this comparatively plain example at $2,000. So it's probably safe to assume the best Scully on the planet would have cost significantly more and could well have been top of this list. If you have to ask the price, you probably can't afford it. And the most expensive coral ever sold is this Colorado Sunburst Anemone at Aquashella Festival in 2019 for a truly sphincter puckering $12,000. Now it's probably fair to assume the photo doesn't do this beast justice and a Google image search reveals a rather more spectacular picture. But this is probably the best example of trends pushing up prices. And I'm pleased to say that multicolored anemones are now more commonly available for hundreds, not thousands of dollars. But with that being said, if you had the money to spare and you had the opportunity to own something truly spectacular and unique, would you say no? Now technically an anemone isn't a coral, but it lives in a reef tank and this one costs more than a small car, so I'm sure you'll allow me a little latitude. If you enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week, and until next time, happy reefing.